Got a pickup truck with a dog box Slam full of hounds that don't know when to stop Until the old male Rambo's his name He's quick on his feet, hell on game Got a little chip in the back of the pack She ain't real fast, but she's true on the track She's got the drive and she's got the guts And that's why she's gonna run with us It's in the blood in your veins, you can't Time is passed down through your family name. It's a pack of dogs coming through the pines. Lights of fire in a young boy's eyes. Just a word of the hound. It sounds just right. It's dog time. Hello everybody, I'm Clayton Stark, and I'd like to invite you all to come along with me on my yearly trip to South Carolina. Every year at the Whitmire Coon Club, the South Carolina Squirrel Hunters Association puts on some really nice squirrel hunts. The people there are always great, the quality of competition is always great, and I've made lots of great memories there over the last few years. Whether you're a coon hunter, a squirrel hunter, or if you just enjoy being out in the woods, I really think you'll appreciate the beauty of this video, and I hope you stick around and enjoy watching. Right now, I want to take care of a little business here. We always have our dog of the year, and Josh Preston won our dog of the year. We're going to go ahead and give him his award. So in these competition hunts, they randomly select who gets to hunt together, and once that's completed, they all get together and head out to the woods. And with competition squirrel hunts, there's many different registries with many different rules. The scoring system is very similar to competition coon hunting, however the biggest difference is there's no strike points. And the first cast I went out with on that morning was with Jeremy Nichols and his dog H2, and also Tracy Rash or Josie. Okay, look through that. Look through that right there. See you good. Tell me which way I need to go, Trey. I'm, I'm 900. Can you see it with a the thermal? Mm-hmm. H2 ended up treeing first and when we got there we looked up and he had a squirrel sitting at the top of a really tall tree. We also used a thermal to see it up in the tree and in these competition hunts in most registries with both coon and squirrel you can use thermal imaging devices to find the game but you cannot score the game based solely off the thermal. You still have to find it with the naked eye. After we scored that tree we recut H2 and at that point Josie was about 900 yards and it wasn't much longer H2 was treed again.
Once we got to H2 second tree, we determined that it was a circle tree. And for those of you new or might not know what that terminology means, a circle tree is just a tree that a dog makes that you can't prove that there's not something in the tree, but you can't see it. It could be inside of a den in a tree or a nest, or it could just be sitting somewhere where you can't see it, but it's still up there. So you get points for it, but it's just circle points and that goes towards a tiebreaker. I'm not gonna get into all the details with the rules because there's so many different registries and they all have different rules, but this is just your broad basic understanding of some of the scoring system. What's that? What's your dog's name? Josie. Josie. Josie ended up treeing in a big group of pine trees, and as you can tell, it's very hard to score these trees and these pines, especially if there's a little gray squirrel up there at the top. And she had been treed for a really, really long time before we got there. So more than likely, there was a squirrel there and it timbered out and went somewhere else. So it ended up being a circle tree. Right there. That's pretty good, ain't it? I didn't know you had a dog box on your two box. Yeah, I just bought that the other week. Yeah, I can't give her out of pine trees the last month anyway. I think she loves pine trees more than she does anything. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna treat her. Then, if you treat him, then we'll, I'll be leech locked when we go to him. He's right now. Yeah, Joe's a tree.
H2 ended up winning the cast. He treated the only squirrel that morning. So we went back to the truck and headed back to the club where they had a great lunch prepared. And the food was prepared by Jerry Galt. And if you've been to this club, any of these hunts where he's cooked at, you'll know what I'm talking about. He makes some amazing food. And you can tell he really takes pride in what he does in cooking. Jerry's a really nice guy and I always enjoy talking to him when I'm down there. So thank you, Jerry, for all that you do. So after lunch, we headed outside to check out the bench show and the treeing contest. If you remember from last year's squirrel hunting video, there was a puppy that was just about 14 weeks old that was treeing really, really well. And I actually got to hunt with that dog again. He's only 14 months old now, but he ended up winning the treeing contest. And you'll see in the next squirrel hunting video I make when I went pleasure hunting with them, he turned into one heck of a squirrel dog. And his name is Boone and he's owned by Danny Nichols. After the treeing contest was over, it was about time to draw out for the evening casts. The cast I went on had Bobby Overby with Decon, Tony Walters with Silk, and Josh Presley was handling H2 because Jeremy Nichols had to go to a son's archery tournament. So I knew it was gonna be a good cast and I hope you enjoy it. Girl. I need you to do work now. You want to do ours? Yeah. Everybody ready? Hold on a minute. I'm going to count it down. Three, two, oh. one, cut, okay? Okay. Okay. Good look, Tony. Good look, Tony. Good look, Tony. Good look, Tony. You're doing this too much here lately. <laughs> Treat on that tree. Still see it climbing up there. Silk ended up treeing pretty quick, and as soon as we got there, the squirrel timbered out. So Tony Handler, and we went on to the next ones. Uh, I think you get one out of that coast. It's holes on it there. It's like a foot of hole. You ain't gonna get none of that coast. Dormant, bro. That's what they did. They all hit that river. Is the river cut or something like that? I don't know. I, I wonder if there's a creek there and made them turn back. Yeah. All three of them did that. Where H2 was hitting the floor, I, I, I thought it was a little bit more. Oh, yeah. She's closer than what H2 was. Yeah. 
think he was a little bit to the right of her. She wasn't, he wasn't too, uh, 260. Oh, really? That's what she yeah, at, 260? He sounded, he sounded more right there, then. I thought it was a little bit to the yeah. right. He sounded more right there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, can you get through? Um, can we eat them across that water right there? I'm trying to eat. Oh, oh, Hey, Josh, I'm a tree suit. Gotcha. Kind of went about a mile. He got a squirrel. He got plus two. Had a squirrel. Oh, what? He called those two cigarettes back over there. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. Cut him. Good luck, y'all. Take 34, 24. Yep, yep. Good luck, boy. New ball game. New ball game. Hey, I'm sorry, y'all. Walk like that. I'm gonna get water running out. Score update: H2 225 plus 250 circle. Decon 125 circle 125 plus with 35 minutes left. Around. Yep. <laughs> Bobby, you ready? Another circle tree. Up, there. up on that big tree up there. You see him? We're calling up here. Hey, your buddy says, help you look at the trees, it's hard to find. Enjoy it. Don't care about it. Being gay. Yeah. Let the buddy rub you down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lay his head in my lap tonight, watch TV. <laughs> you might want to ask him they got a jacuzzi. <laughs> we didn't bring no trunk, so you know what that means. Silk ended up winning with 125 plus points and 500 circle. Decon got second in the cast with 125 plus and 250 circle points. H2 got third with 375 circle. And Brian Farrell ended up winning the entire hunt. I couldn't stay the next day because I had an 11 hour drive ahead of me and they were hunting in the finals on Sunday and I had to get home before it got too late Sunday night so I left Sunday morning. Brian Farrell ended up winning the hunt with his dog Kid Rock and I hope I can get together with him sometime in the future and show you guys that dog. And I hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot of really good squirrel hunts coming up from this trip and also some footage from Walker days. There's a lot of big stuff coming up. I'm going to be really busy these next few months. So I hope you're enjoying this. And if you are, if you're a squirrel hunter, a coon hunter, if you just enjoy seeing dogs work, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons below. That way you can be notified when new videos are posted. Also make sure you check out my Patreon page where you can contact me directly and also see this stuff early. Or if you have video requests, you can make them on there. So I thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time.